Hello folks, welcome back to Camping Astronomer HQ. It's a um, been a gloriously sunny winter's afternoon this afternoon and it's so nice that I can't resist the chance to get out with my telescope this evening. My intended target was going to be the Rosette Nebula, which is a, a lovely nebula um, just to one side of um, the constellation Orion. And it's one of my favourite wintertime targets. Then I realised that the moon was illuminated at um, 75% or 78% I think at the moment. And the moon is sitting quite close to my intended target. So the net result of this is that anything that I do tonight would have a significant chance of being a, an absolute failure. I just everything would be washed out and I wouldn't get anything like the image that I want. But then it occurred to me that um, one of the things I wanted to do towards the tail end of last year was to do some imaging of the moon using the Svoboni SV-105 planetary camera. Some of you may have seen my kind of first stab at using this camera um, in the autumn last year and I had it connected up to a small refractor at the time um, really in order to make life as easy as possible for me as I was learning how to use this camera and one of the things that I said I wanted to do was to get it onto my um, much bigger much longer focal length 127 millimeter max scope and get some detailed images of the surface of the moon and see how this sub 40 pound camera would would get on um, so that's what I've decided I'm going to do tonight so um, I hope you're going to join me and uh, yeah I hope the camera does the business for me my name's John and I make videos on camping walking and astronomy if you like what you see in this video then please check my channel out as you may find others that interest you there but in the meantime let's crack on with this video so my 127mm max scope is the Celestron Nexstar 127 SLT um, and it's a, a telescope that's perfectly suited to lunar and planetary viewing and imaging. Um, the Svoboni SV-105 camera is a dedicated planetary camera. It can't really be used for any deep sky and it can't be used for guiding. It's simply not sensitive enough for that. But my initial uh, go at it last year on the moon with a small refractor showed it to be a very capable little planetary camera. And currently, I noticed today when I had a look, it's um, they sell it through eBay typically. They've got um, some eBay outlets in the UK. It seems to be something like £37.99. So really it's a camera you can't go wrong with and um, yeah I'm very much looking forward to seeing what it can do when it's um, fitted to a scope that really should um, ideally suit its abilities. So um, yeah let's uh, get out and get set up. The great thing about uh, lunar stuff is um, you don't have to wait till it's pitch black to get going so um, yeah I expect the whole session will be over before I even have to think about um, doing my dinner tonight. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get cracking now before it gets too dark.
don't know whether you'll have um, guessed from the big grin on my face, but I was extremely pleased with that session. If you um, look at the live feed that I was seeing on my computer, which is basically the, um, the output from my camera, the images were very, very steady. And this is really unusual when you're doing um, close-ups of the moon. Normally it looks like you're um, looking through water or looking, if you like, if the, the image is at the bottom of a swimming pool. It's uh, how you would see it kind of shimmering about. But here it was really steady. And this indicates sort of relatively rare atmospheric conditions where there's no turbulence. I think it's called um, good seeing, inverted commas. And uh, it doesn't happen very often. And so to have it happen when I happen to be imaging the moon is absolutely brilliant. And I dare say I'm going to see lots of images on various Facebook groups of um, extremely pleased astrophotographers over the next day or so with uh, what's happened tonight. So, um, yeah, it's only half past six. That's the great thing about lunar imaging. You um, can be finished quite early. Uh, so I'm going to go and have my tea now. And I suspect normally I'll do my processing of the images tomorrow, but I think I'm not going to be able to resist it. I'm, I'm fairly sure I'm going to be having a little go later on this evening. And I shall um, bring you back tomorrow with, uh, fingers crossed, what I hope are some uh, very nice results indeed. The pictures that I took last night, I'm absolutely delighted with. They're probably the best moon pictures I've ever taken. And considering this was done with a sub 40 pound camera, I, I really can't believe it. A lot of the credit for these pictures, I guess, must go to the fact that the uh, seeing last night or the atmospheric conditions was probably the best I've ever seen. When you look at the video footage when I was showing bits of my laptop last night, you can't see any, or very much at any rate, sort of wavering of the picture. It's pretty well rock solid. So um, this lends itself to being able to take very good pictures. It doesn't happen all that often and it's uh, lucky for me that I happened to be out when it did. So what I did in the end was take two different types of shot. One was with the Orion Short Tube 80, which was the wide field picture of the whole moon. And the other shots were taken through my 127 millimeter max scope. And these were the, the close up pictures. And um, what I've done at the end of this video, is I'll show you the wide field view, and then we zoom in on that wide field picture to an area on the moon and then switch to the um, the close-up that I shot with the 127 Mac. Um, yeah, so I'm really pleased, can't believe it. I uh, look forward to having another go, although I suspect um, my future images might not actually be as good as these. It all depends really on the atmospheric conditions. But I'll um, put the pictures up now. hope you agree with me that they um, come out really well considering the level of equipment that I was using. Um, yeah, so I'll uh, see you next time and I hope you enjoy the pictures. Mm -hmm.